Okay, so the first part of this I had to just, I'm not going to use it because I went ahead and I was showing everybody my address as I was opening this. So I'm not putting that part in there. I did go ahead and open this though. So, but I didn't take anything out of the bag just yet. So let's go ahead and get everything out. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? He is all over their app right now. His name is Gutama. I think I'm saying that right, but isn't he cute? Okay, we'll get to this in a second. I wanna see what this is. I've never gotten one of these before. Um, introducing Ipsy Cash, the only beauty rewards program that literally pays you back. It's really cool. I know they, if you don't have Ipsy, they have uh, like deals and offers and stuff like that from Ipsy. They also have deals and offers from like various brands and stuff. Like stuff that you got in your Ipsy bag is usually like the deals that you'll find. And stuff is really cheap. It's like 40% off sometimes. So I don't know. I love Ipsy. That's my personal opinion. But I don't know what I'm getting in this month's bag. I've gotten, this is my... April, May. It's my third Ipsy bag, and I always take the sneak peek, but this time I figured I would surprise myself, so let's go ahead and see what I got in this. Oh, look! His little butt. How cute is that? I'm in love with him, you guys. Like, he's just all over their app, like I said, and he's like, he's like really grumpy or something. The same people that make... Hello Kitty is who uh, illustrates him, so just seeing him all over the place and stuff, like I have to Google him and see what products are out there featuring him because I can't get enough of him. He's just too cute. He's like really grumpy or something, like he must not like mornings, that's what I'm getting at with the whole egg and stuff. But let's go ahead and open this and see what I got. I always get one of these, um, as you can see, can you see him? So cute. <laughs> okay, so it says, hey there, sleepyhead. Don't move a muscle. Lazy Sunday vibes are here. We're taking laid back, easy, uh, we're talking laid back, easy, everything. Think tousled top knots, top, wait, tousled, yeah. Tousled top knots, insanely soft tees flush lips and cheeks, and you know, not wearing pants. Our motto? Homebody is the new beach body. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> and our mascot? None other than Gutama, aka the sleepy, super chill cartoon egg who's spreading the lazy bay vibes around your glam bag all month long. We'd love to tell you more about Gosh, I can't read. We'd love to tell you more, but that sounds like way too much work. So come lounge around and, oh my gosh. So come lounge around with us on ipsy.com to get in on the Ipsy over easy. He's so cute. Okay, so let's see what I got. Uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. Oh my gosh. Like, I had just gotten there about a month ago, the Tarte H2O Moisturizing Gel, and I was so excited because I have really oily skin, and if gels are supposed to be lightweight and perfect for oily skins, and the uh, Elizabeth Arden one that I had was too greasy, and after hours of my makeup, it was just like sliding off and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, it's something I've been dealing with my whole life. Anyways, so I got the Tarte H2O after seeing so many good reviews about it, and it totally destroyed my skin. Like, I must have sensitive skin. Like, I didn't know I had sensitive skin until I used that moisturizer, but it burned. Like, I don't know if I have a weird reaction to that mint cooling effect that some products have, but oh my gosh. Like, I had to eliminate... I had also had gotten a new face mask so I thought it was a face mask at first because I mean the moisturizer the H2O was like $40 I believe so I was just like okay it can't be that like it's a really good product everybody rants and raves about it 
but to come to find out it was the Tarte H2O and like seriously I am still scarred from it so I don't know about this because it's that same Tarte like uh, water themed stuff so I'm kind of scared so I don't know maybe I'll give this to somebody because like I said like I'm totally scarred from my experience with Tarte I love their shape tape but their skincare I don't know, I'm really scared, so I don't know about that one. Okay, I got an Ofra eyeshadow sample. It looks like the one I got last month, but I didn't take it out and swatch it, but since I'm doing an unbagging of this, I'll go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Uh, it doesn't say the shade on it, so I don't know what color it is. It does look like a bronzy gold. Okay, so let's see how this is. Oh, that's really soft. Look how pigmented that is. I hope you can see that. Oh my gosh, like as you can see, well you can't see, but around my house, like I have so much gold stuff. This is awesome. I love the color. Oh, of course I had to ruin it with my nail. Let's go ahead and swatch this on my arm. Oh my gosh, look how pigmented that is. It almost feels like, like greasy. Like it's, I don't know, look, it won't come off my fingers. Like it's very smooth, I like this. I have, like I said, I didn't use the last one from last month's uh, Ipsy bag. So I don't know, just swatching this and seeing how pigmented that is. And like the long, I mean this is long wearing, it's on my finger and it won't come off. but. I don't know. Maybe I should give these a try because I can get this back in there because it's really pigmented. Anyways, moving on. Okay, I did see this on their app because it says like a bunch of products. What you know, what what to expect in the bag. You can also, like I said, you can see what you're you're getting, like five products that you're getting. But I did see that they were giving out this. Uh, this, they said it's like a cult classic, so I'm very excited to try this out. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Uh, you can say it. I'm not going to go ahead and ruin the name of that. Um, but it's a moisturizing sorbet, I believe that's how you say that. But like I said earlier, gosh, if I say like I said one more time, I'm going to scream. But the, my experience with the gel moisturizer with this was a nightmare. So trying out another good brand moisturizer is, I'm excited for it. So see how this works for me. Hopefully it won't make my face nasty and a wreck again, but because my skin is finally back to the way it was before. Like it was scabbing and like it was red. I couldn't wear makeup for like days. Anyways, I don't want to put Tarte on blast. It is a really good brand, and a lot of people seem to enjoy the H2O, so don't listen to me. My skin must be, like, really sensitive or something. So if you want to go ahead and give that a try, you can, because I could not find any negative reviews on it. I think maybe one on Google. Like, I don't know why I had such a problem with it. I've never had a reaction like that to a product before like any product that's why I'm like going on and on and on about it because it's just I don't know anyways moving on um healthy glow rose gold blush oh cool I always gonna blush uh this is by Sarah Fine Botanicals gosh all these names I can't pronounce okay so let's go ahead and get a swatch of this doesn't um doesn't have a color on it. So, go ahead. Oh, it's like a, I like this color. I'm not one, oh, I'm sorry, like I'm, I'm like out of focus or whatever, but I'm not one for vibrant, like pink in your face blushes. Like I like very soft, like natural, like light toned blushes. So I like this already. Okay, so I got all of that eyeshadow on my fingers. Like seriously, it feels greasy. I don't know if that's really common. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and swatch this. It feels like velvety soft, it's really soft. I don't know if you can see that. 
Oh, it said rose gold on the cover on the box. Anyways, my camera just shut off on me. But uh, doesn't it look like a rose gold color? You can see like a gold shine in there. I don't know. I love I love this. Let's go ahead and swatch this on my hand. Oh my gosh, it goes on so well. I have oily skin, so with blushes, they'll like appear on my skin when I apply it, but seriously, two hours later, the blush, it's like I never apply blush because it'll be completely gone and off my face. So whenever I get a new blush, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is the one that's actually gonna stick. So I'm really excited to try this one out because I love that color. All right, so let's see, last but not least. What else I got? Oh, cool. I love when I get lips, uh, liquid lipsticks. I got one last month, too. This is by Lorenzi Cosmetics. And well, it just says nude. It doesn't say, like, the color on it. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's a like, smash, but whatever. <laughs> It reminds me of, if you're familiar with Dose of Colors, doesn't it look like the Dose of Colors packaging? It, oh my gosh, that Ofra is all over this from my fingers. Like, I don't know, like that's just really weird. Let me know if you guys ever tried Ofra and if it was a bit greasy, like on your eyelids or something, because my oily skin is not gonna like that. Like it's, I can just, it's like, I don't know why it's making me sick. I don't like greasy, oily feels, but. I want to see if this is like stone. Dose of Colors has a color called stone and like, oh my gosh, I've been obsessed ever since. I'm all out and I'm constantly looking for like a dupe for stone. So let's see this. Okay, I mean, it kind of looks like stone. I don't know though, it says liquid lipstick, but look, it just like rubbed off on my, like completely off. That's really weird, and I'm not using my other greasy fingers, like I'm using my pinky. I don't know, is this supposed to be like a matte, um, like a lipstick? Because it feels like, I don't know, it feels like a lip gloss. But I, I can smell it from here, it smells like chocolate. It looks like chocolate. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about that, like I just feel like if I'm gonna put on my lips like, I don't know if I eat or something like it's just or drink something it's just gonna come right off like it's not drying like a matte liquid lipstick I don't know so I'm just gonna chalk this up as like a like a gloss it's very velvety though it's not sticky at all but it's not what I expected oh I thought I was gonna get like a dupe from my dose of colors I guess not anyways that's all that I got this month so good luck to you guys because I tend to get mine early so good luck to you guys with getting your Ipsy bag and let me know in the description below or the comments below what you guys got. But isn't he so freaking cute? Anyway, anyways, you guys, thanks for watching and good luck with your bags. Bye-bye.